guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest VIII. We are going to continue. I need to get my guide up. I was kind of late a bit. Just a tad bit late. We are in the Mystical Spring, right? That is what it looks like. Alright. We're going to the Altar of Roth, I think, right? I played Valkyria Chronicles yesterday, so I do not remember. And when did I play this last? Like Saturday? I think Saturday was the last time I played this. Let me open my let me open up the guide. Yeah, we didn't go to the Altar of Roth. It looks like. We did the troll maze. Neos, yeah, we gotta go to Neos. Alright. So zoom to Neos first. We will slowly figure this out. Jessica, are you all right? I... I just got this strange image in my head. There was a desert, and a huge skeleton... of a dragon, was it? And a crystal ball. That'll be that dragon graveyard place in the desert. South of Argonia, wasn't it? We should get down there, pronto. Oh, no. I don't like it. It feels too much like when I was being controlled by Rapthorn. Nonsense! We would be nitwits to ignore such an obvious message. Let us make immediate preparations to depart for the desert. The Dragon Graveyard's a fair old way to the west of here, right? Lucky we can fly, eh? We can actually zoom there, which is what we're gonna do. Who am I using in the party? Jessica, Nova... I would like to keep Mori, and we'll use Angelo. This should be a good team for now. Well, let's uh, head to uh, the Dragon Graveyard. Activate that crystal ball. Jessica, we've been here before. Uh. Okay. What is this? Kingdom Hearts? Bringing up people, like, kind of like... I don't know why that reminded me of, like, someone from the organization. I have no idea why. It just did. Hey, Raptor. How's it going? No, come back here. I want this King Slime. Got it. Oh, I wish I was using Yangus, rip. Oh well. Uh, what do I use with you? I don't know. I'm just gonna attack. Metal Slash. I think Hard Claw is a good thing for you. And Needle Rain, of course. Oh, come on. Alright, whatever. There are better places to grind for metal slimes, and I'll worry- I'll worry about grinding once we beat the game. You really only need to grind like crazy for the post-game. I'm assuming. Obviously, the P- I don't think the PS2- did the PS2 have post-game? I can't remember. If it did, I don't remember doing it. Pretty good, just doing some translation work? That sounds cool. That sounds really awesome, actually. I don't know, translation sounds like a- Cool kind of classwork, or whatever it is. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like your um. It doesn't sound like your everyday um. Math, science, history. So, sounds interesting. Good luck with that. Post game might be just 3ds. I think you're right. 
if the PS2 had a post game, it was very small. Because I, if there was a PS2 post game, I did not touch it. Because I don't remember anything. Even though I played the game seven years ago, I still do not remember anything. You know what? Are these guys weaker? Can I use like holy protection to get them away? These enemies are weak, so I'm just gonna skip every enemy, unless it's a King Metal Slime. I know I've read that the extra dungeon is 3DS only. I think I read something that they added. I, I read something. Oh, wait, I left? I didn't wanna leave. No. I accidentally exited. I'm not paying attention. I did read something as well that the 3DS added. I don't know what specifically, but I know that the 3DS added a. a couple of post-game stuff like stuff to actually do at the end but the actual thing is i don't remember if the ps2 had it it's no big deal anyway i'm gonna do it regardless and i'm sure grinding is the best way to do it i'm sure grinding is gonna be like necessary for it because dragon quest post games usually have you grind really high levels usually i think that's how um i don't remember what dragon quest post game Dragon Quest XI wasn't really that grindy. I don't think it was. But this is the right way, and then we gotta go down. Am I okay? I, I, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I'm going down there. Okay. I've been through this place, but I'm still a little lost. But, um... Dragon Quest post games usually involve some grinding because when you're playing a Dragon Quest game, the level rate is really low. You're going to end the game probably in the late 30s, early 40s. But um, what was I saying? I, I keep losing my train of thought. In Dragon Quest game, in Dragon Quest games, you're going to usually end the game probably in like the late 30s, early 40s. In most of them. I think 11 is a, my, a bit of an exception. Because 11 is a longer game. I think 11 is like one of the longest. But still. 11's post game though was just three arcs of story. 11S had a little bit extra. Oh yeah. The um. Arc 3 of the story. My bad. I read three arcs. Arc 3. Yeah you're right. Eleven had that whole, um, save Veronica thing, and going back in the past. Which, in my- I know- I know- I know why you would consider it post-game, and it's fine that you consider it post-game, but me, personally, I will always consider that main story. I feel like that should- I feel like that's so necessary to finishing the game. It's kind of like what I consider Tales of Grace's lineage and legacies. I feel like that is such an integral part of the story. That it's worth your time. And it concludes the story well. Because you... I am not satisfied with the arc 2 ending. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, wait, can I go through? I can go through here. Never mind. But, um... I am not... I'm not satisfied with the ending before the third arc. I'm just not. But I will always consider that main story. But I could see why you consider it post-game, because the, the game makes it sound like it's post-game. Like, the game the game designs it where it's, like, post-game and not mandatory and puts the credits before it. It gives you it like it's post-game, but... It's definitely worth it. I'm in between. Arc 3 is the shortest, especially compared to Arc 2, but I can see why it's considered post-game as well. Consider that main story, though. Alright, you're on my side, Raptor. Perfect. You see what I mean. Because I'm on your side. I see why they call it post-game and why it's post-game. But I really feel it shouldn't... If, if this makes sense, I feel like it shouldn't be post-game. I feel like it should be main story. Because if you don't do it, a lot of people will just go to the game... The game the credits and be like i'm done with the game you miss so much of the game if you miss it you miss so much of the game that's like i feel like it's necessary 
And I think it is the shortest. Arc 3 isn't very long. I don't know if, I don't know what's longer, Arc 1 or 2. I think they're pretty even on the which one's longer. I don't know if this was in the PS2 version. The wildlands he mentioned must be the place where we found the ship, don't you think? I was so excited about finding it, I didn't think to look around. We should head back there and see if we missed anything. It's likely. Alright. Be back out of here. Not sure either. My guess is Arc 2 since they also expand on it in 11S. You're right, they added the character stories. I forgot about that. So I think Arc 2 is longer. When talking about, all right, how about this? When talking about vanilla Dragon Quest XI, they're about tied, probably. Give or take, they're about tied for length. But when you're talking about 11S, Arc 2 is definitely longer than I think. I would think Arc 2 is longer. Arc 2 did add the character stories, which adds some playtime. All right, I don't really know where I think I'm gonna have uh, Jessica use the uh, Godbird Soul Stone to kind of look. In Vanilla 11, though, my guess is one, but it might still be two. 11S, though, definitely two. Yeah, I don't know specifically. It's been a lot, it's been like two years since I played 11. I played 11. No, I played a little bit of 11S. That's a lie. I played a little bit of 11S. I never finished 11S, though. I finished Vanilla Dragon Quest 8. 8, 8. I'm playing 8. Vanilla 11. Wasn't it near Trodane? I think Trodane is where the uh, Badlands are. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check if my judgments are right. I am definitely. I don't know when, but I am definitely playing Dragon Quest XI S on the channel. It's probably gonna be. I do want to do Heroes 2 100%.
So it's probably going to be the next Dragon Quest game after that. Which again, I don't know when that is, but definitely not this year. Because 11 is a long game. Def 2021 for sure, but I don't know when. It depends on how things go. I want to do Dragon Quest Heroes 2 first. Because I did that way back. That was my first playthrough on the channel. That was my very first YouTube playthrough. So I'm going to 100. I'm going to platinum that game first. But then once that happens. I am going to. Uh, once that happens. I'm going to go back to 11. I'm going to play the Switch version. Because I did the PS4 version back when it released. Probably 2018. I think 2018 sounds right. It will happen. Like, that's ho pretty high up on my priority list. Alright, this is prob- this is where we got the ship, isn't it? The thing is, I don't know where exactly the... The, uh, dungeon is. And <laughs> Jessica, can you, like, help me out here? You're already best girl, but you can be even helpful if you help me out here no pressure though if you don't help me you're still best girl all right that's not someone I'm I have no idea where- th Oh, hey! This hole looks interesting. No, this is where the ship was, I think. I don't know where this is- This is, by the way. Do you say anything? If even the Great Sages can locate the demon, what hope do we have? So according to the Great Sages' most eloquent message, this Juggeroth fiend is to be found somewhere in the wastelands, huh? That being the place where we previously found the ship, I believe. So the waste, so to the wastelands, Jessica, and let the manhunt commence. Yeah, yeah. That jugger, what's a monster we're after in the wasteland, right? This place got old to the ship. It's on the continent, in it. I'm hearing that you found your ship in the wasteland, Ivergatso. I have never been in the place before. <laughs> See, I would like to visit this site where you have come across this ship. See you later, Milners. Thanks for stopping by. If you come back later. That's great, but if you don't, no no big deal. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate it. Sorry, I've got I got some things to think about. Maybe try one of the others if you want to chat. Oh wow, thanks, Angelo. Thanks for nothing. Dude, I don't know where this um I have no idea how to access this dungeon. I might just look it up, honestly. Because I don't like roaming around fields looking for things it, it highly depends i don't mind sometimes but i hate being lost like i don't know what i'm looking for i know it's in the badlands but i don't know what i'm looking for specifically like how to enter you know <laughs> 